The Blue Raiders of MTSU have made the relatively short drive from Murfreesboro to Tuscaloosa. Where the 10 total bases, he's just getting it done again. The offense is consistent and they just know how to do a shot on that one. But you, when you talk about building a pitcher, 6'6", 240 left hand. Louisiana, and you're going to be scared of Schenectady for crying out loud. A swing and a miss, and Farone records the strikeout to begin. Portals big everywhere. We'll get some guys uh, out of that. I know, I think Murphy's Borough home of David Price. And I was off by a strike. My apologies as Tanner. And first pitch swinging. And chopping that one to third is Vincent. The park home run over the weekend, flashing the leather. He has got a very, let's see, look, he'll get some work to start, but will not likely be. You can play head games and think about it, and a lot of times guys didn't like this. You would not have fit in the Braves back in that period. I uh, see, although you did wear the Braves uniform, is that would help this lineup immensely is the three for th but this is more like it for Alabama this time of year is McCants is a strikeout victims and all right who do you know that may know this guy with two hits over his first weekend in a Bama uniform a little soft liner that is going to just drop in that probably felt like our friend and guy you played for in Mitch Gaspard third strike retrieved nicely as has the count at one and one that is indeed 2-2 two -two pitch swing to miss chased one up that time and boy he's mixing low four seniors in spots two through five a freshman and some other veterans mixed in as well as McCants in center drifts over and says he's got it and he does. One time was a friend of mine, he'd taken over a new job and said, what have you got? And he was waiting <laughs> on the uh, commercial flight to come get us as that one is swung on and missed. And how about Greg Farone? He's faced. But what if he's 21 or, you know, coach aboard this made bat. an easy decision, made it easy, you know, and right on cue three hits to nine and gets a base. And he was in the same boat a year ago that we're talking about with these. You know, it makes rebuilding a lot easier and a lot quicker. That one's likely going to be the first out of the inning, and it is. It was all famine this weekend for him, unfortunately, as he's buying. Let's see what he goes with here. Nasty breaker again, and Hayslip is down on three pitches. Came up empty there as the bottom fell out of that breaking ball. Well, if you like pitching, you found the right spot in terms that they might see in the year. But right now, just the way he's throwing the ball, again, that fastball up right there, just six, imposing figure. He's letting the ball go a little bit close extension, and it feels like it's just right on you. That one got onto the outfield in a hurry. Well struck ball off the bat of how things have grown and developed on the hill. He's 6'6", 240, as you mentioned, as that pitch turned out to be perfect if you want to strike. 3-1 to Badalak. Misses, and there's ball four. Back to my point about Ferone, though. Six Alabama, and he comes in with a man at first who's trying to take second. The throw down's going to be late, and that'll be a swiped bag. So, we get him home. As you see, Snyder struck out his first. High and tight there. And a four-pitch walk. Do you think he was at a payoff pitch due? There they go. And that one's cued right off the end of the bat. But a nice job by Probst hopping off the mound and recording. Utility player who's getting started second again today. Oh, you got to think, he can be in, you could have basically, when you're looking at, as he takes a, a pitch outside for the walk, if you get a second base, a third. Two innings, two hits, a walk, five strikeouts. But they haven't been effective, it's just that the pace changes quickly. Miller says, unfortunately, that looked like my first at bat as he. Case in point. Second home run of the year for me. Did exactly what you want to do on a 2-0 that's anywhere. You do this long enough, occasionally you get one or two right, don't you? Fifth and six RBI. Boy, he didn't try to do too much either. He laid back nicely on that one and got to full extension as Petrunts will 
roll this, isn't it, that everybody spots one through nine. It's got home run power. And that speed from any part of it. So they can create or they can also drive the ball to the park. Tough break for Hodo as that one was hit right on the butt. You know, my high school is what they the Former guys that are still playing still come out here and use the facilities and, you know, get their work in as well. Sure. Cleanup hitter Griggs Rudder stands. They enjoyed their time in Tuscaloosa as that one is smoked to left and a great start for MTSU. Special and got something going again. This is an offense that's going to keep coming at you. And Pick it up as that one's going to be chopped towards third. They go to the bag for one and across the diamond for right. Catches it, steps on that bag, makes a nice strong throw. And again, even at a ball and a strike now to Phillips, who lines that one to right. That could be trouble. Slicing away from and dropping in front of slot. Kale Vinson standing order. Runner goes, pitch a strike, throws on the money. What a, another great throw by Matt Gassetti. Second runner. Nothing new. So when you have experience, you know that you could pull from. Makes it a lot easier to hit. That one's popped a mile high. A little miscommunication. Homer from McCants. Gassetti taking that one for the team. And next to my dad, who's six foot five, almost six six, and they're like looking at me and, and flipping breaking balls right at you. There, you know, you're just going to get a steady dose of them when you show that you can't make the adjustment. And you had a strikeout his first at bat to another freshman. You're going, hey, you couldn't knock out a lot of years in a row with shortstop under control. Hard contact, but beautiful couple of days here. Aces, that's a good combo. Swing and a miss there, though. Had a nice job of battling back for the DH. He swung at the first pitch he saw about wins. You know, I remember that college those. win. Yes. That one well. smoked towards the gap in left center. McCants cuts it off, and that combined. Any other center fielder just kind of lazily goes, gets it, thinking, hey, it's double off the bat. He's still able to hop up and make it to second base, so it was a nice job defensively to do that. Petrut. Phil Ragers are. Imagine that's McFarland Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> the one two to Snyder with a runner going. Another throw on the money from Gassetti. He has gunned down. Trying to maybe bunt his way on right there, or at least give it a little runs. He's capable of going yard. Although that one was off the end of the bat, and it's going to be trouble, and that one's going to take three. And he will get it easily. Well, for MTSU, the right fielder, Snyder, did what he supposed Two strikes to Miller. And he is not able to connect. That's a tough at bat. It's his alderman dealing. There's a ground ball that'll get the run in. Nice job on the part of McCants as he's retired. Hey, if we can maybe steal one away right there and get a, an easy. Petrut staying on that one and driving it towards left, and that's going to get over the head of Galloway, and Petrut is going to dig. He's going to head for third. The throw is off the mark. Three and one to Hodo. And he draws the walk. So Bama looking to add to a 3-1 advantage. He's willing you to take this to the other side for Alabama, and you're looking at Coach. Chased one up. And the strikeout for Alderman ends it, but the test score either. But Alabama trying to keep it that way. And first pitch, ground ball to the right. So for their pitcher, he's out there, and then all of a sudden you come out there. It could have been dangerous for Alabama as he takes the third strike right there. It was a little bleak. Beyond the ground ball. You're exactly right. He does have all three. Matt Cassetti, three. Payoff. Chop left side. Good read on the part of Miller. And his throw to first is talked about Matt Gassetti defensively. Takes a strike as that one sails high. He has reached base safely for the second time in a row. I mean, yeah, that's some excitement. They had a big um, series win this past. And that is ball four. And they're going to throw back to first, but he is 0 2. Ooh, and gets called out on a breaking ball that he thought triple his last time up and hits this one well toward right center field. Tagging. 
There's a hard hit grounder, but right to the shortstop, Adelak, and his flip to second. They swiped one successfully, but three times they've been gunned. You almost go, hey, let's just stick with them. Nice How about job. That? Yeah, making the recovery on that. I was going to say, you, you're sitting there with what you. That's what he did. Back up strikeout. Hard hit grounder, but gobbled up at short by LeBron and got himself square before. I mean, you, you'll even see veteran older guys just make that. Out hit as well. And a heck of an outing from Austin Morris. He's off at Harvard. But, uh, yeah, making the move from Ivy League to SEC was quite the adjustment as McCann. Here's the problem with that. It's a great play by Phillips. And then Sato's not able to. Definitely an error, but we're not sure. They are going to. See, I, okay. almost, uh, I think there's a glove there. Okay. Nice pitch. That is a nice pitch. And normally, pitcher will make way for an infant. At least it's. I -E -R. <laughs> at least it's evening. And he's not. He's not. One for three on the day. Gets hit by that one. Wow. One, two pitch. Talked about it. Advantage count as a pitcher. And you go ahead and then, you know. Breaking ball chopped. That is a fair ball. It's a long throw across the diamond, and it's going to be misplayed. They will hold slight at third base, and he waits on it. He's going to have a chance to make the then, then done when you're used to having to make a swipe. There's a chopper to Badalak at short, but ba <laughs> in a regional or in Hoover. That's a tough thing. Is It looks good because it's got that late movement, but... Didn't miss on that one. Did not miss so far on the young season. Product from Murfreesboro. And a beautiful pitch there from Myers as well. Boy, his third strike pitch to the end that wears on an umpire to the point that they won't give you the benefit of the doubt, but that's not the way Gassetti operates. And boy, Braylon Myers. A little bit overmatched. He just, you know. Like you mentioned, he, he's still exuding confidence out there and just that's just a belief in yourself. And came around to score Bama's fourth. And that one's belted towards right. Is it high enough? It is. Brego, his first, comes early in 21 advantage. Confidence in yourself and not letting at bats affect you. How about confidence? from Gage Miller putting that one in the playground. Interview mirror. And Bama trying to put the Blue Raiders there as well. They push it out to a 6-1 advantage. Center fielder. And a good eye to lay off that one. So his third. Slide to six, can it? Yeah, because you're, you're trying, SEC. for sure. Little tapper. And that's a heck of a play on the part of the catcher, Rudder, and good base. So well this year. You got some power arms up there. Still some life for the Blue Raiders, though, as Gabe Jennings delivers. Great block on the part of Gassetti. And he, it would have been fitting. Sure, we would have had a review right there. High fly ball deep to left. Petrutz. At the wall, able to make <laughs> And that may have gotten out of the yard, but another good victory as the tide. Lance Cormier rolls.